So I recently completed the 24 hour bracelet challenge, but obviously when I was doing it, I was in a normal pattern mood. And that got me thinking that I should do the 24 hour bracelet challenge again, but with alpha bracelets. So that's what we're doing today. I can't believe I'm doing this again. Just so you know, 24 hour bracelet challenges take ages to film. A very, very long time to film. And it's not just the 24 hours that go into actually making the bracelets. It's everything around it. It's prepping the bracelets. It's finding the patterns. It's the little breaks that I take in between. So it ends up being something like 27, 28 hours with like food breaks and sleep breaks and well, I mean, add, add multiples of eight hours onto that as well. They're intense. But I'm doing this because I had so much fun filming the first one, which will be linked in the card in the description if I didn't mention. That one was really great. Great success as well. And I'm in an alpha mood now, so let's do this again. I have a general idea for what bracelets I wanna make, and I have two specific patterns that I need to make. I recently also did the bracelet roulette challenge, in which I made a couple of random bracelets from my to-do list. And there were two alpha patterns that came up in that, and since I'm making those anyway, I'm gonna count them towards this challenge. And I have a couple more as well. We're gonna go over them in just a second, but let me refresh on the rules. First of all, I'm doing it a little bit differently than I did the previous one. I'm still setting a timer for 24 hours on my phone, and I'm gonna be pressing play and pause every time I start and stop making a bracelet. So I get a very active accurate reading of 24 hours from start to finish where I'm actively making bracelets during that time. However, last time I did it within the span of a weekend. I sat down on the evening of a Friday. It's actually an evening of a Friday now as well, as I'm filming this. And then I nodded throughout the entire weekend and I finished kind of the evening of the Monday. So it was like a weekend and a bit. I don't have a free weekend up until I leave in September. So I won't be able to do it that way. So I'm just going to set a timer for 24 hours, play it and pause it whenever I'm making a bracelet and it's gonna take me however long it's gonna take me, which is probably gonna be a while, but I'll try to get this done as quickly as I can, I promise. All right, so let's have a look at the patterns that I've got picked out. But first I wanna quickly remind you that I wrote a book. The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets, which is a collection of photo tutorials aimed specifically at beginners, comes out on August 23rd in the US and about a month later everywhere else in the world. And it's available for pre-order now anywhere you typically buy books. And if you pre-order with my publisher, Rocky Nook, the direct link for that is in the description, then you can get the paperback and the ebook in a bundle. If you do pre-order, which I would really appreciate it because it helps the book so much, send a screenshot of your order confirmation to my publisher at rockynook.com slash friendship. Very excited for this book to come out. The release date is so close though. Also, if you pre-order with my publisher, you'll be the first ones to get your book because those get shipped out first. Let's look at the patterns. So I didn't really know how many patterns to pick out because I really have no estimate of how many patterns I'm gonna make. Alpha bracelets do take up much longer than normal bracelets do. So I'm gonna start with four bracelets that I really wanna make and I have some other ones in my back pocket in case I do go over that number. This is the first one that I wanna do. I think it's a really cute pattern. This one was actually assigned to me during the pattern roulette challenge, which is a separate video that I did. I put in 12 of my to-dos and then I spun the wheel to see which bracelet I'm gonna be making. And this was the first one that came out from that. So I'm gonna be doing this one for that video as well. And then the second one from that video as well will be this one. So there's two bracelets that I'm making as part of that challenge as well. I think this one is really cute as well. I might need to make this one a little bit longer because I think the proportions aren't quite right, but I'll think about that later. This is another one that I've been meaning to do for a while. I think this one is really cute and super summery and I really wanna make it. It's been on my to-do list for ages. And finally we have this one, but I'm gonna be making it in the color combination of like a sunset. I found this pattern when I was moderating and someone submitted that color variation. I was like, oh my God, I have to make this. Whereas if I had just seen this in the original combination, I don't think I would have decided to do this. So variations are great. So yeah, those are the four bracelets that I'm gonna be starting with. And among my mess of strings and cords, I have two separate bags of string. I actually went to the string store and I got some strings specifically with these bracelets in mind. So this was the bag of string that I got for the sort of blueberry ones. I did decide to go with purples. I'm curious how that's gonna turn out, we'll see. And then these are the colors that I picked out for the bracelet with the clouds. I think these colors are gonna be super cute. I'm very excited to make that one. But first I'm starting with the hippo bracelet. These are the colors for that. And let's get going. I genuinely cannot believe that I'm doing this again, but here we go. 24 hours and counting.
All right, it's time for my first check-in. So this is how much I currently have done. We got through the hippo and I think he's so cute. I'm really enjoying making this bracelet. We've got 20 hours and 18 minutes left on the clock. So that took about three and a half hours. I did this pretty much in one sitting. I took a few breaks here and there to like get food and stuff, but this was pretty much done in one sitting and alphas do take much longer. They really do with all the color switches. And also I think there's just more knots. I don't know if that makes sense mathematically, but I think that is the case. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. I just have the mirror image of this to create on this side and then I'm done. So I'll see you then. All right, there is 18 hours and 43 minutes left on the clock and this bracelet is now finished. So this bracelet took just over five hours. I am a little bit surprised by that. I knew that alphas were gonna take longer purely because of how they're made, alphas always take longer, but I didn't include the cutting of the strings within that timing. And also this bracelet is relatively short. It's 13 centimeters. My bracelets are typically between 14 and 15. So I am a little bit surprised by how long that took. I really enjoy how it turned out. We see a little bit of string poking there. I need to trim the strings on the sides a little bit. I'm gonna use like manicure scissors to do that a little bit later. This is what the back looks like. I really like it. I think it's a really cute bracelet. On to the next one. All right, time for another check-in. With 17 hours and two minutes on the clock, we're about an hour and 45 minutes into the bracelet. And I've managed to complete the first half of the background and now I have to actually knot the spacesuit and the cap. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but this isn't black. It's actually like dark blue, kind of like a very dark sort of navy color. It's going well so far, let's continue. All right, so that was another hour and 45 minutes and I finished the little cat. So it's interesting that this entire piece took me the same amount of time as this piece did. It makes sense because this piece had a ton of color switches and this barely had any, but I think it's turning out really cute and I'm excited to continue this. I tried to calculate it and it will come out to roughly 14 centimeters. I did add a few rows though, so the pattern itself wouldn't have, but I think I'm on track to be exactly right where I wanna be. And here we go, the bracelet is now finished. I can't believe how long this pattern was on my to-do list. And you know what, very likely, if this pattern did not come up in the pattern roulette challenge, I probably wouldn't have made it. I have a lot of patterns on my to-dos that have been there for years, which is why I really enjoyed doing that challenge. I'm probably gonna do a second one at some point soon. And I'm glad I changed the colors for the actual cat itself. Within the pattern, he was supposed to be gray. I didn't really have enough gray. I would have liked for the spacesuit to be a sort of a bit of a darker gray, but I didn't have one in my collection. So I went with a sort of lighter gray instead and I changed the colors for the cat itself but I love how that turned out. 
Anyway, we've got 13 hours, 48 minutes on the clock. So this section took about an hour and a half. The bracelet in total took about five hours. That's a lot of time in my opinion. As I said in the beginning of the video, I knew alphas take longer, but it's actually very interesting to fully measure and sit down and actually know how long it takes because I have horrible perception of time. And <laughs> now I know. Anyway, we're two bracelets down now and those were both of the patterns for the pattern roulette. So now we're just making other bracelets. I want to start the blueberry bracelet. I've got all of these colors for that. I probably won't end up using all of this string. I bought extras just in case and also just to have in my collection for later. So don't worry, you don't actually need this much string to make an alpha bracelet typically. And I'm thinking of doing a knot with me for this one, but I'm running into a problem that I didn't have previously. I'm running out of space on my husband's computer. When I got my PC, I specifically went for a hard drive that was massive because I filmed videos. I knew I need a lot of space, but he obviously doesn't have that. He doesn't need that. So he doesn't have as much space and I'm using his computer to edit and I'm running into this issue a lot where I'm like, ah, I don't have enough space. So we'll see if I'm able to do this, but hopefully I am because I really want to make a not with me for this one. So I'm going to start filming it and then get rid of something. Anyway, 13 hours and 48 minutes. We're not even halfway done yet. So maybe I will make more than four bracelets, at least like four and a half. Hopefully <laughs> let's get to it. All right, time for my first check-in on this bracelet. This is how much I've done so far. This was pretty much done in one sitting. And by that, I don't mean like in one go consecutively. I did take a couple of breaks for food and just to like chill out for a bit. But I did spend a good chunk of my day today just knotting this bracelet. And the timer is at nine hours and 41 minutes now, meaning that this bracelet, or at least this part of the bracelet took me four hours. This is what the back looks like currently. I'm a little bit unhappy with how it turned out here. I feel like I did kind of mess up the strings a little bit, like I could have cleaned that up much more. Um, and because of that, it is a little bit bulky here, like I can feel the bump because of where those strings are and I feel like I could have cleaned that up a little bit better. I might go in with some scissors after I finish the bracelet and try to sort of even that out, but we'll see just because it is bumpy in that specific area, but it is fine mostly everywhere else. So far, I'm really enjoying how this is turning out. It is quite difficult to knot because of the color changes and because of the shadows specifically. There's just a lot going on in a lot of the rows. So it is taking me a little bit extra time, but I'm absolutely in love with this pattern. I've been wanting to make this for a while as well, and I'm really enjoying making it. Also, I'm very happy with the colors. I was actually surprised because I thought that I might not really like the purple because blueberries aren't technically supposed to be purple, but I think they look fantastic. And I'm really glad that the shadow isn't blending in with the actual color for the berry. So I'm gonna take a break for now and resume hopefully tomorrow. The bracelet is finished. Look how beautiful it is. I'm so happy that I made this pattern. I am in love with it. I really enjoy patterns with like berries or flowers or fruit or something in them. They're such a summery vibe. It took me about two hours to finish since we last caught up and that means it took me about six hours in total. I've got seven hours and 40 minutes on the clock. I've got one more bracelet that I planned to make and that was that sunset one with the clouds. I'm gonna start on that one now. And I'm thinking about what other bracelets I wanna make. I've got a couple of my to-dos because that one's definitely not taking me eight hours. There's a little pile of floof here. I cut up the ends with some manicure clippers, I guess these are called. There were a few places where the string was really close to the edge. And there was also a few places where I was dragging the string too much across like the green. I was dragging across the entire thing here. And I just wanted to free up, um, just loosen up the bracelet a bit. So I did cut it in some places. I could have still cut it more in some areas. Like there's still a lot of strings dragging here and you can kind of feel it at the top, but it's not too bad. So I thought it wasn't really worth the effort to be honest. But yeah, this is what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. I'm really happy with it. I'm so glad I finally made this. Oh my God. And on to the next one.
All right, checking in on this bracelet. I decided to film this one for it, not with me as well. I just thought, why not? The other one went well, so might as well film this one too. Six hours and 27 minutes left on the clock, which means that this section took just over an hour, which makes sense. This one is much smaller and there was only three colors in it, so it's easier and faster to make. I'm still not quite sure what I make of it. Like, this is what the clouds are supposed to be like. I don't know if the colors work together well here. These are what the strings look like. I thought they worked quite well here, but I'm now thinking maybe the contrast is a bit too much between the two pink colors. I had this one as well potentially picked out. So maybe it would have been like these two, but then I decided to go against it or maybe these two. I don't know, I decided to go with these two in the end. And now I'm thinking maybe, maybe that's a bit much for a contrast. But I'm still, I mean, I'm gonna finish it, see how it turns out once I'm done. So let's continue. We are almost there. There's only three hours and 53 minutes left on the clock. This bracelet is now finished and it took about four hours to complete. I'm not sure. Okay, hello. Good, good evening. Hello, my sweet child. This bracelet is really cute, though I do think that I chose the colors incorrectly here. I think that there's too much contrast between the pinks. The shadow is too dark and the light parts are too light. <laughs> do you agree? Yeah, so I think I could have chosen the colors better here, but I do like how it turned out. And if you kind of like, you know, look at it from afar, it looks good regardless. So I am very happy with this one, nonetheless. Yeah, okay, that's... <laughs> Thank you. Please don't scratch yourself on my camera. Thank you very much. Anyway, I want to start another bracelet since I've got four hours left. I decided to go with this one. This is a cute bracelet that I wanted to make. It's a little bit more autumnal. So I'm gonna film it for a knot with me, maybe post that in September for an autumn kind of knot with me. I always get really excited when the time comes for the seasons to change, because I like making seasonal bracelets. So I've picked out the colors for this one, I've cut the strings, I've already put them here. So I'm gonna film another knot with me. My husband has been deleting games from his PC to make room for all of these knot with me's. Thank you to him for that. <laughs> Use my child. Anyway, four hours left to go, let's do it. All right, please ignore my voice, I have COVID. <laughs> I am sick, but I am still working on the challenge and I've got 40 minutes left to go, I'm so excited. I've just finished the little frog and I took a break from this bracelet because I was sick. I've been sick for a while now and I just came back to it today and I realized that I have no idea where I put the strings for the mushrooms. So I have to like look through my entire string collection again to find those strings which is super fun. But oh my God, 40 minutes, that's literally just one sitting. It's gonna be done very soon, let's get to it. The 24 hour alpha challenge is officially complete. All right, let's have a look at all the bracelets that I've managed to finish in the 24 hour alpha bracelet challenge. One, two, three, four, and three quarters. <laughs> These are all the bracelets that I've completed. And look how cute they are. I'm so happy with these. I'm actually surprised by how many I managed to make. Alphas absolutely take longer than normal bracelets and I didn't think I would get this many done. Specifically with this one, I thought I would only get maybe half of this one done. I didn't expect to get that much of it done, but I'm so glad I did. And also you can kind of see that I guess I have a trend right now for bracelets with like a character in the center and like stuff on the sides, but I also very much enjoy these two. Anyway, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very, very pleased with this. It did take me a little bit longer than I anticipated because I got sick. So it took me just over three weeks in the end. Definitely would have taken me less had I not gotten sick. 
but I'd say maybe two-ish weeks, two and a half weeks with the regular sort of pace that I work with. I mostly knotted in the evenings after work or on weekends. I think I did once or twice, not during my lunch break for like an hour. So yeah, that's why it took me a bit longer this time as well. But I'm very pleased with this challenge. I'm leaving all of these patterns linked in the description in case you want to make them. Also, these three are going to be coming out as not with me's at some point later. I wanted to record a voiceover for a nut with me, but obviously my voice is really croaky at the moment, so kind of on pause for that at the minute. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you make any bracelets that I made, or if you just do the 24 hour alpha challenge yourself, definitely tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see that. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I want to remind you that my book, The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets, is now out in the US and will soon be out everywhere else in the world as well. You can purchase it wherever you typically buy books. Thank you so much if you do. Before I go, I also want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. Thank you so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. If you also want to become a patron and support the work I do on this channel, the link to that is in the description. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.